Okay, I'm back again, doing lots of rosette videos. Rosettes are my life right now. Oh, look it, there's my table. You can see uh, another, I did one other video with all my things and this is just a finished one, so everything ends up being a big mess of strips of wood and glues. I need some more CA glue, knives, chisels. It's an awesome saw. Actually, I'm gonna put a link a lot of the tools I get, like these knives, the saw, oh, this great saw here. Lots of stuff I've gotten from uh, this fellow I know in Japan, David. I think he's French. Oh, shoot, Leopold, David Leopold. I'm going to put his website here. He's a, a great place for getting tools, and he's very knowledgeable and really appreciate all his help over the while that I've been doing stuff. Anyway, I'll put a link to his website, and... Um, he sells tools and knives and kitchen stuff. Anyway, but let's get back to the rosettes. So this is, I thought I'd do another collection of rosettes again. So these are the five I've done over the last, geez, probably over the last month or so. And I'm gonna do it in sequence. I'm gonna go from the, the first of this bunch that I've done and then continue on. You'll see, you can probably see some, oh listen, I've got some Japanese soft pop in the background. I wonder if they'll let this go through. Anyway, yeah. Um, these first ones I did a lot of kind of individual, yeah, there we go. Like th really small th vertical thin strips as well as the longer um, pieces, you know. These, this, this one here and then this second one here are both really heavy with that stuff, eh? So both of these took me, geez, I don't know, five or six days to, to a finish point. Um, the last one I did was the quickest, it was like a day and a half. But you'll see because it was mostly long strips, you know. Anyway, they're all beautiful, just different times. Uh, like I said in another video, I think a lot about how they look from a distance, you know. How they might stand out on a guitar or elsewhere. And you can see this fourth one here totally stands out and this latest one here I think will too but I think you know a lot of guitar rules that you'll see the guitar and it'll just look like a wash or something and then it's when you get really close that you see the beautiful details and I love that too right I don't think it has to be standy outy but anyway it doesn't much matter each their own oh wait a minute is that right yeah yeah that's right darn <laughs> losing track Oh, I also made other video. I showed the ones on the guitars. I won't bother with that today. So this is the second one. You can see all this sort of uh, pointillist type. Let's see if I can get that without the reflection. Pointillist type thing. Yeah. Here's here's the third one I did. That's had Mount Fuji in the back in my head. I think when I did that. Mount Fuji. Mount Fuji, some people say. And what is it? Oh, I think it was Brendan, this fellow from Australia that I'm connected with. He saw, I think he saw shooting stars here. And then when he said it, I went, oh yeah, shooting stars, perfect. Anyway. Yeah. This is the one, of course, that stands out big time. Very dramatic. Yeah. And so, where are we now? Oh yeah, right here. And then this is the most recent one. And I just finished doing a proper video on this on its own. I was kind of, well this, I mentioned this, I was inspired by the the swirling images off Earth Null School from the recent typhoon that hit Philippines and Hong Kong. And, but it, it's also an extension here. Like, you know, like I, I leave, I uh, finish one, and then I start, I wait till ideas come for the next one. And this last one I just finished today definitely comes off this one, right? Perhaps you can see some of the, the ideas behind it. Yeah, and anyway, and then, you know, I just kind of start off with an idea and expand, right? So this, this of course, continues, kind of disappears and then comes out. And if you can imagine, 
Around the edges of these is spruce or cedar, right? So spruce is quite a light, light, light wood, and cedar would be darker. Mostly I use spruce, and probably, it's my, I really prefer spruce, but anyway, I might do a cedar one at some point. Um, yeah, so perhaps going backwards now, you can maybe see a bit of how one comes off the other, right? So the, the long swoopy bits are in each one. This is like long swoopy light bits with a very light tone feeling. This one's sort of similar with the, with the pointless bits, but a darker tone. And then also on this one they've got on the outside and inside, you can see the, the, the lining stripes and that's the same here pretty much same here now when I start to get to this one the third one these bits here if you can imagine that I mean I, if, when I install them in a guitar I could also put a strip of veneer on the uh, a strip of, of this stuff on the outside and then create a border right um, now there's a borders borders coming in here but my idea is this bit right here see if we can get it in focus this bit right here will go right into the fingerboard right? Not the fingerboard, sorry. We'll go right into the guitar top with the idea that because the maple and spruce are a similar color that there'd be some blending almost. So, you know, um, and that on the, all the next three uh, rosettes, there's that idea of, of not a border in certain areas, you know. And I even had the idea that I could extend this rosette into the soundboard a little ways, like in, in extend some of these stripes. That I'll have to wait until guitars are made first, you know what I mean? That's a different story. You can't really tell until I'm in it. But that thought has crossed my mind. That have the rosette then expand. Here, I'm going to switch this. So have the, the, oh, where are we now? So have the rosette. Oops, that's pretty bright. Um, like the, the rosette expand into the, into the soundboard a little ways. I mean, you can't go too far. Oh, you could, but you don't want, I don't want to interfere with the sound at all. But I can certainly go like a, few, a centimeter or two, definitely. Anyway, that's something to work on as, as we go. So that's it for today. Two videos in one day, well, that's uh, unusual. Okay, uh, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna go practice, I think. Okay, hope everyone's doing great. Ciao.